What's up everyone, Dapper here, and we're back playing some more Marble World! In today's episode, we're going to be making a Galton board, or a probability board. I don't know, it was basically invented by Sir Francis Galton to demonstrate central limit theorem, or wh whatever, we're, we're getting past that. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but we're doing less of the mathy stuff today and more of the buildy stuff. But anyway, before we get started, a lot of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so if you could please do me a favor, if you like today's video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Anyway, I hope you enjoy today's video. All right, so today we're gonna to be making a Galton board or a probability board, or they also call it the beam machine. I don't know, I'll probably show a picture here, but we are gonna be trying to make basically a probability marble run. <laughs> and I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we are gonna try our best here. I'm gonna start off with a marble spawner. I think that angle should be good enough. We're gonna move it pretty high because we're probably gonna be building off of this a lot. I don't know exactly know how I'm gonna make this, to be honest. So we have invisible paint now, that might help. So basically we're gonna have our marbles up here and we're gonna release them into like a, like a Plinko machine, kind of? I don't know. Uh, we're just gonna get started though. So let's go ahead and place some tracks to see how this is gonna look. What we really need here is a merger. So I'm gonna grab one of those. Kind of like so. And I guess we'll use decorations. That might make it easier. So anyway, I'm just gonna start building here and we'll come back as soon as I have something that sort of looks like what we're building. Okay, so this is basically what I'm gonna be working on here. So we have a marble spawner here. We bring all the marbles together and then I'm gonna place a bunch of nails, I think, to see how it distributes. So it's gonna look something, <laughs> whoops, something like that. Uh, I do need to enclose this whole thing in. So before we move any further, I'm gonna grab the whole thing. I'm actually gonna turn it on its, uh, to be horizontal. It makes it everything so much easier to work on. So I'm gonna work on it like this, and then as soon as it's finished, uh, we'll tip it up the right way. So my plan is to close the whole thing in and using invisible paint to kind of make it like a glass window. So I'll probably just copy this whole board and move it up and then make it all invisible. I'm gonna try this out now to see how it looks. We go special two. Look at that. And we make it invisible. What the heck? That's so cool. Oh, it's weird. Oops. Parts of these. Oh my. What? It's like invisible, but it's not. We do that and that. That's crazy. Okay, so we're gonna work with that. And I'm just going to place these all around the board.
coming along now. Uh, I thought I'd just give a little update. I've been placing all the nails. I've been using them... Well, I've been placing them in threes, so I've just been grabbing like three of them. Copy pasting and using the grid. I've been just positioning all of them just like so. So hopefully this works. Hopefully we can get some good results with this. And uh, I'm really interested to see if we can actually get a nice curve. I'm also going to place a few tracks and then turn them invisible above these marble spawners so we don't have any marbles falling out. And I'm just going to paint those invisible. Just like that. Now I'll get rid of the edges. And now it's time to test. Okay, so this is a Galton board. Now I'm gonna take these marble spawners up here and make them all 180. And I suppose I should move the whole thing down a little bit. We're kind of in the ceiling. There we go. All right, let's see this thing in action. We'll close up the things just to make sure they work. Perfect. And let's open them up. Look at that. So the probability, uh, probability says that we should get a curve like so. So it should be a lot taller in the middle and then lower on the ends. So let's see if that actually works. Okay, I kind of see it. Look, we got lower on the ends, more in the middle, and then it goes lower again. Let's do another wave. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Okay, so I have changed up the colors a little bit here, except for that. Of course, I forgot to paint something. Uh, let me grab our special real quick. Make that rainbow. Perfect. All right, this thing is looking pretty darn cool. Now, um, now I guess we just got to do fun things with it. I guess we're just going to overload it. Let's do like three waves. And I'll probably put a fourth one in as soon as there's room for it. There we go. <laughs> that works. And look at this. Each one of these is just filling up. So they really go in this like triangle here. So I really don't even need a lot of these nails. Like a lot of the ones up here could just be erased. But since we already have it, I'm probably not going to do that. It still looks super cool though. Look at this. Like, that thing stacks up in the center. But there's so many in there that it's now going to the sides. So that's definitely too many marbles for this experiment. <laughs> but, holy cow. I can't believe this thing worked. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So yes, in Marble World, uh, it does act like real life physics. So let's do some cool things now. What can we do? Uh... Does a booster in the center affect it? I don't know. Let's find out. We're we're here to ask questions and get answers. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to put this booster. I'm going to get it situated real quick. Now we just got to flip it the other way. And what if we did like times 50? What would happen? Let's find out. I'll make some marbles go through a lot better, that's for sure. But I don't think we're going to have any difference. Look at that. No, it's, it's literally about the same. Except for the sides. Uh, that's a little curious. Um, I definitely don't know if I set this up right, but it did state that the sides should be should have the least amount of marbles in them. So maybe I set this up wrong. Maybe my proportions aren't right. Uh, maybe I should have had a triangle going straight down. Maybe? I don't know. 
I don't know, if we cut off the two side ones, it might do better. Who knows? Although, pretty cool, pretty cool. What else can we do? Can we flip this upside down? Will it still work then? Can we watch? I don't know if this is actually going to work though. Hold on, let me grab the whole thing. Okay, never mind. I thought the marbles would like stay in, but they really don't. I was going to flip it upside down like that. So that doesn't work. The booster does help though. Maybe... Hmm. I don't know, this one might just be it. <laughs> I can't think of anything else to do with this. But it is really cool. It is really cool. This is my first time using invisible blocks, too. I might use these a lot more, because it really does keep all the marbles in. Oh, we're in slow motion now. Oh, super speed lag. I mean, look at that. It really does work. Look at this. So yeah, maybe if I put too many marbles in, that's when a lot of them start going to the edges. Or maybe that's just how probability works. Like, maybe it says that most of the time it should be a curve, but sometimes, you know, you could be a little above or under the curve. Look at that. Now the edges are completely empty. Look, that's got one marble. That's got one marble. Interesting. That is, that is really interesting. Oh, did we... Oh, that's when I turned it upside down, right? <laughs> So if we just do one wave, do we even get any marbles in the sides? No. Oh, we got one. Interesting. So then the second wave should fill up a few marbles in these side pieces. Interesting. We got one on the left, one on the right. And look at that. These ones didn't even fill up this time. Interesting. So maybe... I think we got a couple marbles stuck here. I don't know how they got into the nail. <laughs> That's weird. I'm actually just not going to question it. So then when we do a third wave... I don't know. I don't know what's different besides this booster. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. I sure didn't. Anyway, if you like this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to hit the subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.